Hey, it's Hannah. I mean, it's Tilly, and this is not a tape, it is a book haul video! So, I haven't done a book haul video in a little while, and I originally did not even plan to do this video for quite a while, because I didn't think that I had that many books to show you guys. And it just turned out that my SD card broke this morning when I was going to be filming this really cool idea that I have. But whatever, because when I went to the shops to buy the SD card, you know, my self-control wasn't really intact and there was a bookstore and I happened to walk into that bookstore and I used all of my gift vouchers to purchase books. So to those of you who have been sticking by me during my book buying ban, I'm still doing pretty well on that. I haven't actually bought a single book this year yet yet. But that does not include obviously gift vouchers or authors or publishers sending me out books, which is a quick mention to Joe Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. Like, if you guys want to send me Obsidio, I can give you my address. It, really, I'm just trying to help you guys out a little bit here. And so today I made the mistake of using up all of my gift vouchers, which means that I literally am going to have to just not buy any more books now for the rest of the year. Luckily, I did pre-order Echo Wire before the start of the year, which means that I get the book without having to worry about it. I'm getting so distracted. Let's just get straight into the book haul, right? These are in no particular order, by the way, so I'm just going to grab them and tell you guys about these books. So the first one that I have on the pile is Daughter of the Pirate King by Trisha Levenseller. So this book is about a pirate king's daughter, and she gets captured and taken to your enemy's ship, but in reality she is searching that ship for a hidden map, and all is going well until the first mate kind of might change her mind about doing certain things, so I think it might be like a bit of a romance that shouldn't be happening kind of book, but hopefully there'll be plenty of badassery in it. The next one I got from The Wire Chronicles, which is another fantastic book subscription box, and there's The Secret Science of Magic by Melissa Keel, and this one is another kind of romance based book. It has a lot of other good things in it that I've been told and I've heard it's really really good. So you've got Sophia who is really really smart and then you have Joshua who is like this magician and they have their romance between them and hopefully it is great. The next one on the pile is History is All You Left Me by Adam Silvera. In this book you have a main character called Griffin and his ex-boyfriend and pretty much the love of his life unfortunately drowns and passes away and so it's him coming to terms with that and trying to face the facts while also finding a new love interest. For this next one I'd like to thank Text Publishing for sending me it out. I have read a few Vicky Wakefield books and she's fantastic. If you guys want to do a bit of hashtag love us YA, I definitely recommend reading some of her books. And her newest one is Ballad for a Mad Girl. So this is kind of like a mystery, maybe thriller, I'm not entirely sure, but there is definitely mystery in this book. So you have our main character who is called Grace. She's known for being a bit crazy and when two schools have a few she decides to do this competition against them and she ends up discovering a 20 year old mystery about a girl called Hannah who died, I'm assuming she died, or was just missing and she is kind of trying to discover what actually happened. This next book I won in a competition through Twitter with Data Book and it is the ARC of Strange the Dreamer by Lani Taylor and this book is so beautiful and I'm very excited to read it. Unfortunately I am suffering a reading slump so I'm trying to get out of that and then as soon as I am the first book I'm going to pick up is this big beautiful amazing book here. If you guys haven't read any of Lani Taylor I highly recommend it. She's one of the most wonderful most poetic and storytelling authors that I have ever ever read. So straight off the blurb, this is a story of a mysterious city stripped of its name, a mythic hero with blood on his hands, a young librarian with a singular dream, and a blue-skinned goddess every bit as perilous as she is imperiled. Welcome to Weep. This next one is the second book in the Frontline series by Michael Grant, and that is Silver Stars. So basically the first book in this is about um, an alternative World War II where females were allowed to fight, and so you follow the stories of, uh, I think it's three different girls, and yeah, this is the second book to that. This next book is so highly anticipated, I'm actually currently reading it at the moment and really enjoying it so far, and I'm pretty sure you guys have all heard of it, and if you haven't, you need to pick it up because it's probably going to be one of the best books of 2017, and that is The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. So in this book you have a main character called Star and she's the only witness to a fatal shooting and life is really hard for her already because she's got one foot in one world and the other in her actual world and so she's trying to find a balance between them. But after this shooting her entire world is kind of flipped upside down and as she's the only witness it puts a lot of extra pressure on her and you just follow that story. These next books are like fresh out of the bag, like they've still got the stickers from the bookstore on them because I just... <laughs> I can't, I can't help myself. So the first one is How to Be a Boss by Lily Singh. She's a really cool YouTuber, so I picked this up because I'm really excited to read it. Um, I love all of her videos, so I'm sure I'm going to love this as well. So this is pretty much a guide to conquering life. This next one is one of my highly anticipated reads and I'm so, so freaking excited, right? Because it is Drake Horror by Lynette Noni and this is the third book in the Akane series and I really, 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 really love Akane. So if you guys are looking for a really fun and easy fantasy read that's 
like friendship based and just really freaking good you guys need to pick up this series because hey the third one's just came out it's perfect timing and that cover is absolutely stunning if you guys haven't noticed i really support love as a ya which is like australian literature and this new anthology has just come out and it is going to be amazing it i can't wait to read it i just i don't know why like i'm not just reading it right now and that is begin and begin this is a huge list of australian authors that have all inputted into this amazing book it is edited by danielle binks and includes like amy kaufman wilker starkus melissa Sakil, Gabrielle Toza, and many, many more, but basically I'm just really, really excited. This is how bad my self-control is. Patrick Ness is an automatic buy author for me. So when I saw his new book release on the shelf in hardcover, I just picked it up. Like, I don't even know what this book is about. It's Saturday, it's summer, and although he doesn't know it yet, everything in Adam Thorne's life is going to fall apart. Relationships will change, he'll change, but maybe, just maybe, he'll find freedom in the release. Time is running out though because way across town a ghost has risen from the lake. Searching, yearning, she leaves a trail of destruction in her wake. Sometimes the end of your world is the start of your life. I still don't really know what it's about but I am so excited. Second last book in this book haul and I've heard so many good things about this book. It's been all over Twitter and Instagram and I picked it up without even once again reading what it's about. That is Queens of Geek by Jen Wild. Three friends, two love stories, one convention. So in this book you have Charlie who's internet famous and she's just broken up with her boyfriend and trying to show that she is completely over him she ends up actually running into Alyssa Huntington who is like her longtime crush and apparently things might not be as one-sided as she thought. And then you have Taylor who likes to blend in. It seems like on here she's in love with her best guy friend Jamie but she doesn't think that's going to change and then there is some sort of fan contest for her favourite fandom that is going to change things for her. And the last book that I picked up is Cruelty by Scott Bergstrom and in this book you have a girl called Gwendolyn and she's pretty much on the trail through this European criminal line trying to find out who kidnapped her father and it sounds like it's going to be a mystery thriller slash hopefully action. So that is all that I've got for you guys today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and um, all the books that I've got. If you guys have read them please leave your opinion below so I know what order to read these books in. And if you guys want any more information on any of these books including the full list of authors from Begin and Begin just let me know in the comments and I'll try to do my best to accommodate you. I hope that you guys have a lovely bookish day and that great things happen to you. Hey guys, it's Tilly and today I am doing two unboxings. I don't know if that's allowed, but I'm going to do it anyway because I am a rebel. But basically, these are book box subscription boxes. 